and welcome to my channel overcoming gluttony my name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds I currently weigh 262 pounds and on this channel I vlog daily plus every week I show you all of the food that I have in my household and what I've meal prepped and we also grow microgreens together on this channel so that we can have some fresh nutrition at our fingertips at all times. These are organic fenugreek microgreens that we planted six days ago and the greens on the top, the microgreens on the top were the seeds that we soaked for six hours. The ones on the bottom we didn't soak, we just put them in the soil and watered them in. You can see the results here. They are now fully edible um, from the seed covering all the way down to the root. If you see, look here, you can see that there's some brown on top of some of the green leaves and those are the seed coverings. So you can eat that and the leaf and the stem and even the root. So let's chit chat about being almost present. I'd like you to think, how dedicated are you towards your health journey right now? Are you 50% dedicated? Are you 100% dedicated? Are you 0% dedicated? Think about, think about it and be honest with yourself. If I was honest with myself, I would say that I'm 125% dedicated. Why? Because I had no idea I was going to start a YouTube channel about gluttony. I had no idea that I was going to tackle the issues that I have with gluttony. And I've never um, been as disciplined in doing daily exercise, drinking water, eating vegetables, oh my goodness, yeah. So because of the fact that I've been hitting my, or, or performing my health goals 97% of the time since January 1st, 2023, and today is February 26th, I think, yeah, February 26th, 2023, you know, because I've been so disciplined with doing my goals, and on top of that, I've added extra exercising on top of the hour that I walk each day. And like I said, with starting a YouTube channel to encourage other people, that's why I feel like I'm at 125%. Um, am I perfect? No, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I definitely eat too much junk food, but I am working at the areas that I'm struggling and I'm being honest about it as opposed to staying in denial. So you see how I just gave myself a little self-evaluation about where I am? I'd like you to do the same. And with whatever number or percentage that your dedication rests at today, like if it's a 2% or a 102%, or a 74%, see what you can do to increase that number. Now, if you are already at 100%, you don't need to increase it. I know I said if you're at 102%, ignore that. If you're at 100%, just keep going. But if you're not yet at 100%, let's get there. Let's start making changes incrementally until we get to being 100% dedicated towards our health because anything less than that is going to, it's going to affect our progress. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be successful if you're not at 100%. But let's try to remove those hindrances that are getting in our way. Like for me, being in denial 
about my eating habits and eating way too much junk food and justifying stuff. Those are getting in my way. So I'd like to let you know that I did do my 2023 health goals today. I My breakfast consisted of 60 ounces of water plus a lot more than four servings of raw vegetables. And I did get my hours worth of exercise in today. And I'm completing my health goals 97% um, of the time. So I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It's titled, The Liar, The Fighter, and The Truth. The Liar, The Fighter, and The Truth. Satan sent out a report. He sent it to God and to your mind. In the report, it stated, you weren't worth any of God's time. He accused you of being a liar. He said you're a sinner too. He yelled throughout heaven and whispered in your ear, you'll never be faithful or true. God told me to let you know that Satan's attempts are vain. He sees you're trying to serve him and understands defeat bears some shame. Defeat doesn't make you a sinner, even if you lose a battle or two. Repent, keep fighting, face the truth. Allow God's grace to come through. Fighters don't quit. They continue until they succeed. Press your way into heaven's gates. Ignore Satan's lies indeed. You're not a sinner. You're a privileged human being. Claim your victory and allow God's light to be seen. Satan desires to bring you down and chain you with failure and doubt. Ignore what he has to say and turn toward the victor's route. If you're fighting for God's kingdom and not allowing sin to rule, you're not a sinner at all, but an effective, God-pleasing tool. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.